to another reform that you've announced in the campaign and now moving to deliver. You've had a lot of interest. I think 60 organisations I read um, internationally from Australia and around the globe wanting to be a part of the um, nearly $600 million hydrogen power plant. I'm really interested in how yeah. soon this is going to be up and running, particularly in the context of the recent energy crisis that we've experienced uh, certainly in the eastern states yep. with the gas shortages and so on. H how soon will this hydrogen plant be up and running? And will it take some of the pressure off the, the system that we're seeing strain so much in recent months? Uh, yes, it will take pressure off the system. It's not going to solve every problem in the system. And it will be up and running by the end of 2025. That's our commitment. I've got to say, Kieran, it, it, it is an ambitious policy and it's not without a degree of risk in, in a policy sense, but also in a technical sense. But everything that has happened since our election, uh, you know, four or five months ago, has actually given me even greater confidence that our ambitions are able to be realised, principally because of, you know, the international interest. You know, the most substantial industrial players globally have participated in this process. The biggest engineering houses in the world are providing feedback into the process and the, the advice that we're receiving is this can be done. Um, it's a big project. It's, like you said, $600 million worth of taxpayer funds, so we've got to make sure we get this right. In terms of the energy crisis that's playing out before our eyes and, you know, every Australian's paying for it, I think it's a demonstration of, you know, the biggest public policy failure in a generation. Um, and it's incredibly unfortunate. And, you know, we've discussed this before and... I know that your program has covered this issue extensively, but I mean, how we can have a situation as an energy exporter as a country, one of the most energy-rich places anywhere in the world, of having such a dramatic shortage is, a, I think, is a national disgrace. Um, we believe here in South Australia and the South Australian government that gas has a role to play um, in getting that transition right, but we also believe hydrogen will have a very big role to play in the not-too-distant future. We want to be a leader in this regard. We've got some natural advantages on our side in South Australia because of the um, coalescence of wind and solar resources in a way that we don't see anywhere else in the country. In fact, not many other places in the world. So this is an opportunity we yeah. want to grab. We want to be a leader in it. We want to work with the private sector in it, and we're going to get it done.